Hey folks, this is Mark from Harmonics, back today with a super fast descending pentatonic lick. By the end of this video, uh, once you've put the three parts together, you've done the ending, and you've worked with the metronome and you've built it up to speed, it should hopefully sound something like this. So that's what it should sound like, or as close to it as you can get it, that kind of speed. It involves three movements, all of which are like kind of fast flurries that cycle over through the standard kind of cage two, box two, most common pentatonic shape. This is considered an upper intermediate lick. Uh, I think intermediates can definitely try it. Total beginners, maybe one to avoid for now, but there's nothing stopping you trying, obviously. But uh, you might not be able to achieve the results that you want as quickly as maybe an intermediate will be, whose fingers are kind of used to playing the pentatonic scale, moving around within it, etc., and those kind of boxy shapes. This kind of style of playing fast pentatonic uh, runs like this is very sort of akin to uh, maybe uh, Dave Murray from Iron Maiden, that kind of sound. Um, Zach Wilde as well, maybe a little bit. Uh, and some other guys, but those off the top of my head, are, this is probably most like that kind of style, probably Dave Murray the closest. So if you ever get a chance to listen to some Iron Maiden, listen to some of the Dave Murray solos, you'll get the idea of what I mean. It's kind of fast, flurry, sort of more picked legato style than the actual picking. So we're gonna break this lick into three parts, combine it all, try with a metronome, and you should be good to go. Hopefully by now you're warmed up and ready for something like this. If you're looking for a really good warm-up exercise, something you can incorporate into your practice in every day, I suggest you look at this video here. So let's get into part one. First finger on fret 12 on the low E string, E1. Okay. And what we're doing is we're down picking this note, hammering on to 15 with our third finger, pulling off that note, then the third finger comes over, lands on the 15 on the B with an upstroke. So, down, hammer, pull off, up on the B on the 15, okay? So, 12, 15, 12, 15 on the B. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now, small nuance with this, kind of from a mechanical perspective, you want to kind of rush the down pick a little bit, but make sure that it lands on the beat. What I mean by that is you'll kind of get this, when you when you try and do it quickly, you kind of feel that your thumb is kind of rising up and then bam, and then up and then bam, like this. So you're going to get this kind of shape. That's what I do anyway. You, you, it might be a little bit different for you, but as long as you pick those notes at the right time, you're okay. So in terms of uh, kind of metronome beat, this is a, a four note sequence. So if the metronome was to tick here, it would be tick, 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 like that. So the beat starts on this note. Let's have a look at part two. Now we're down starting the same lick, but this time because we're on the B string, we can't just have our third finger go over or we'd hit the flat five there. So what we need to do is we need to bring our second finger over to the 14 on the G. So part two, the whole thing is another four note sequence, starting with a down stroke again, but this time your first finger is on fret 12 on the B string. We're gonna be picking down. Hammer on to 15, just like before. Pull off to 12 again, just like before. But this time, instead of the third coming over onto the G, our second finger is coming over to the 14 on the G, and that's an upstroke like we did before. So here's the whole thing very slowly. So 12 on the B, down. Hammer to 15, pull off. And over with your second finger on the 14 on the G with an upstroke. So all together, nice and slow. I'll try and exaggerate the pick a little bit so you can see. Okay, and again, if uh, when it comes to the pulse, it's a four note sequence with the tick on the first note. So tick, tick, tick. 
Tick, tick. And part three. So now we're down on the 12 again with our first finger, but this time on the G string. So we've gone from here to here to here now. And we're playing a downstroke on the 12 on the G. Hammer on on the 14 this time with our third finger. Pull off back to 12. And then an upstroke on the 14 on the D string with our third finger. So that looks like this all together. Down pick, 14, pull off, upstroke 14 on the D. So all together nice and slow. Okay, so, so far we have this. So that's picked three times. So to end it, we do this. So that's down on the 12 on the G, up on the 14 on the D with our third finger, pull off to 12 on the D, over with our third finger, that's an up stroke on the 14 on the A. Down stroke back on the 12 on the D again with our first finger. And a hammer onto the E root, mid root here on the 14. So let me show you part three all together really, really slowly, right? Because that last bit's a little bit fiddly, so. Do it again. Let's combine all three parts now. Okay, so that's the three parts combined. Hopefully, as you work through it, um, you'll learn how to connect these parts together. It's the connecting them that's difficult because as you finish the lick, you've got to have that finger ready there to start part two. And if you notice, you're on your second finger here, so this first finger must come up for part three and you need to swap this finger with this finger. So there we are. Good luck with that. I hope it all comes together for you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Feel free to share with other people if you think they'd benefit from it. And also leave a comment. I'd love to know if you've tried this at home, how you got on with it, and if you're you know, sort of close to doing it like this or even better. Don't forget as well to hit the notification bell so you'll see the videos as and when they're uploaded. And if you're looking for coaching online through Zoom, we offer that too. For the moment, it's primarily beginners, talk beginners or early level beginners and intermediates for now. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye.